dog walking's excellent statistics and facts. Before going into detail, please subscribe and press the bell icon if you did not subscribe to our channel. We can all agree that keeping your dog happy and healthy requires regular walks. There is no need to argue with the truth of the notion that walking your dog will help both you and your dog in a variety of ways. But what specific characteristics of dog walking make it one of the most well-liked pastimes? Yes, it will enhance your health and strengthen your relationship with your dog. But what specific data and figures support these claims? Is walking your dog suitable for humans? Or is it just a hyped-up pastime? In addition, how precisely does walking your dog assist you? Aside from the obvious advantages like getting some exercise and bonding with your dog, everything related to dog walking will be covered in this article, including trends, statistics, numbers, and more. There is so much more to dog walking than just exercise and companionship. Let's go through these statistics. Let's start by looking at some illuminating data from recent research. The diverse walking practices of dog owners are the basis for this report. According to the results of the investigation, it was determined that, according to 64% of dog owners, taking their dogs for walks is a way for them to show how much they care for and love them. 95.5% of dog owners surveyed confirmed that they consider their dog a family member. 56% of dog owners would even welcome their canine home. When it came to the motivations regarding dog walking, most dog owners claimed that dog walks made their dogs feel happier 70%, more energetic 46%, much more relaxed 41%, distressed 93%. It should be mentioned that most parents walk their dogs to socialize with other people. The possibility of taking more pictures or selfies with one's cherished dogs is a highly intriguing reason dog parents want to do something. According to this poll, one in five pet owners said that the photo opportunities they can use for social media posts or to retain as a keepsake drive them to go for walks. Excellent data were also produced by another report in 2011. Do you want to know how much time the typical dog owner walks their dog each week? Owners of dogs typically walk their pets for 8 hours and 54 minutes per week. Please allow me to explain this fantastic information to you. If they walked at a normal pace. This would translate to an average dog owner covering 36 miles each week. What would occur if they continued this for a whole year? A year has about 52 weeks. Therefore, 36 miles multiplied by 52 weeks becomes a great 1872 miles annually. This is the same as walking the whole length of the United Kingdom 3.12 times. Is it any wonder that dog walkers are consistently viewed as highly active and in good health? According to many dog parents, they like it when other people compliment their dog. Most of them have compared it to be better than chocolate 73.5%, a day spent in bed 65.5%, pizza 60%, a great tremendous first date 56%. 78% of pet owners polled in this study believe that dogs should be walked twice daily, compared to 22% who walk them just once. There are still some pretty terrible figures, notwithstanding these hopeful ones. Still, 57% of dog owners confess to skipping weekly walks. When asked why they sometimes skipped on their dog, dog owners most frequently cited the following reason. The most frequent explanations offered by dog owners when asked why they occasionally skipped on their dogs were unfavorable weather 56%, laziness 32%, work 32%, problems with the dog 31%, family responsibilities 24%. Notably, Monday is the day that dog walks are skipped the most, even though the reasons for their absence may vary. Most dog owners, if not all, feel regret when they don't take their dogs on their regular walks. Two-third of all parents who participated in the study said they would feel bad if they neglected their dog. One in five dog owners admits to giving their pets unique gifts to compensate for lost time and keep their content. These goodies might consist of, but are not restricted to, normal dog treats, extra pampering sessions, extra expensive toys. Sadly, it is also common for parents to entirely ignore their dogs. According to a different survey, over a million dog owners acknowledged locking up their pets. At the same time, they go to work, depriving them of a healthy outside environment and companionship for hours on end. For dogs, who are creatures that require activity and frequent interaction, this is incredibly unhealthy. It is stated that a dog's basic activity requirements depend on its breed, size, pre-existing medical issues, and other factors. However, many experts strongly advise that most young canines get at least an hour's daily activity. Dogs who don't fit the bill are more likely to become overweight. In addition to the crucial data already indicated, it is noteworthy that most dog owners, at least among the sample, walk their dogs in one of three locations, the neighborhood, nearby parks, or the woods. Information on dog walking's health. Let's look at some health statistics right now. 
everyone's health benefits from walking their dog. But what data and facts support this claim? According to researchers at Michigan State University, their studies found that dog owners are 34% more likely to fit in 150 minutes of walking weekly than non-dog owners. Dog owners walk 22 more minutes per day compared to non-owners on average. A dog owner is more motivated to walk because they need to satisfy their pet. Non-dog owners do not have such a motivation and instead rely on more self-motivation to get themselves moving. First, did you know that dog owner who walks their dogs daily are far more likely than non-dog owners to achieve their fitness goals? Since there are statistics to support it, this is not a folktale. The decreased chance of developing diabetes is another statistic related to walking dogs. Walking dogs reduces your risk of developing diabetes by 66%, according to fitness scientist Cindy Lentino. This figure only emphasizes the value of exercise in lowering the chance of developing type 2 diabetes. What better incentive to go for a stroll than the responsibility of taking your dog for a daily walk? Along with the physical pain you and your pets experience, diabetes is a costly ailment. Sincerity dictates that rather than taking a chance on such a terrible and expensive condition, you would be better off walking your dog yourself or paying a local dog walker $10 each week. To learn more about the astronomical veterinary costs of treating canine diabetes, click the text after this one. According to data supplied by Cancer Research UK, Frequent participation in low-intensity exercises, such as brisk walking, can help prevent about 3,400 new instances of cancer in the UK as a whole every year. If you walk every day, your risk of developing cancer is reduced. A dog is a perfect motivator for daily walks. According to data supplied by Cancer Research UK, it has been demonstrated that performing regular, easy workouts like brisk walking can help prevent almost 3,400 instances in the entire UK each year. If you walk daily, your risk of developing cancer is reduced. And who better to encourage? You can benefit significantly from walking your dog regarding your mental health. These known advantages primarily consist of the following. Boosting the moods of the dog and its owner as the dopamine and serotonin levels within their bodies will be elevated. Lowering the stress hormone oxytocin within us, reducing our stress levels. Dog walks are great for youngsters, which is excellent information. They are known to shield kids from allergies and autoimmune illnesses. Researchers from Cincinnati College have concluded that if children from families with a history of allergies grow up with a pet dog starting at birth, they are less likely to acquire eczema and asthma. The hygiene hypothesis, which contends that children are less prone to develop allergies and autoimmune illnesses, is related to how this operates. Dogs are the ideal pet for preventing allergies and autoimmune diseases in children because they are typically pretty dirty. Another exciting aspect of walking dogs is that it helps prevent behavioral issues like aggressiveness. It is a well-known fact that dogs need physical activity to express their energy, otherwise, they will turn to other methods, such as destructive or rebellious behavior, to do so. Dogs enjoy taking walks so much that many owners spell out the word walk when discussing pastimes to prevent their canines from becoming unduly excited. Daily walks are not only a terrific method to exercise your dog, but they are also suitable for you. Make sure you have all the necessary things on hand before you leave the house. Keep plastic bags on hand so you can pick them up after your dog. In addition to being disrespectful to other users of the trail, leaving your dog's waste on the ground is harmful to the local ecosystem. Getting your dog a harness will prevent them from straining their necks or choking themselves if they tend to pull when enthusiastic. Harnesses come in a wide range of designs and varieties. Just be aware that a harness won't prevent your dog from pulling. Loose leash training is meant to accomplish that. You only need a pair of comfortable walking shoes to get started on the street or path. Do you have everything you need? By watching on, you can discover six ways that walking your dog can improve your health. 1. Improve physical conditioning. Regular exercise will make you fitter. But with many exercise regimens, committing to them long enough to see results is half the battle. This obstacle is eliminated when you walk your dog, who serves as your training buddy and coach. They will be so eager to go outside once you create a schedule that they won't let you miss a day, rain or shine. A great low-impact activity that you can do anywhere is walking. Your muscles, bones, and joints will become stronger with time as a result. You could even opt to remain outside longer or walk up that extra hill after seeing that your usual path feels a little easier. The breed and age of your dog will determine how long you walk each time and each day. For instance, a border collie two years old will have more incredible stamina than an elderly pug. Adapt your walk to the capabilities and needs of your dog. Bring water and a bowl for your dog if it's a hot day or you plan a longer hike. It would help if you also thought about the ground you're walking on on hotter days. The pavement can quickly get to dangerously high temperatures in the sun, which will burn your dog's paws. Try placing your hand or bare foot on the pavement as a test. 
The ground is too hot for your dog to walk on if you can't hold it there for 10 seconds. Just be sure to walk on the grass or the dirt on days like these. Alternatively, you can get your dog booties to protect their feet. The more you walk, the more fit you and your dog will be. If your dog is game, it might someday make a fantastic jogging partner. 2. Improved Mental Wellness A psychological explanation for why so many dogs become service animals for PTSD sufferers and veterans is that walking a dog can elevate mood and lessen symptoms of despair and anxiety. Studies have shown that spending time with a dog helps lower cortisol levels. Having a dog can completely shift the game for those who are depressed. When you're alone, finding the motivation to leave the house can be challenging. Even though studies have shown that regular exercise can be a potent antidepressant, you could experience physical exhaustion as a sign of depression, making it difficult to exercise. However, nothing motivates you to exercise more than your dog's large puppy eyes pleading with you to take a stroll. Having a dog forces you to go outside, which triggers a series of psychological benefits. Endorphins are chemicals released during physical exercise from the brain, giving you energy and a good mood. Stress levels will drop, attitudes will improve, and mental energy will rise. Additionally, the daily ritual of walking a dog might serve as a beneficial diversion from negative thoughts. The primary line is that caring for a living thing can ease the burden of caring for oneself. Company dogs might decrease loneliness and can provide while out for walks. Walking your dog will keep you socially engaged and frequently result in talks with other dog owners. There are several methods to spend time walking dogs, even if you don't own one, to reap these advantages. Look for alternative volunteer opportunities or ask a friend or family member if you can walk their dog around the neighborhood. Animal shelters frequently use volunteers to walk the dogs kept in their kennels. You gain from these advantages for your own mental and physical health. And you'll also feel better knowing that you've helped dogs in need. 3. Better sleep. Exercise wears you out, which is why you've often seen your dog collapse on the floor after a lengthy play session or stroll. Even though you might not require a nap right away like your dog does when you get home, studies have shown that regular exercise does help you get more and have better quality sleep. Even though adults need 7 minutes 9 hours of sleep per night, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recently discovered that 1 in 3 adults do not get enough sleep. Lack of sleep is linked to a higher chance of acquiring diseases like high blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity. Additionally, sleep deprivation might harm your emotional well-being. You understand what we're talking about if you've ever been irritable or had difficulties concentrating after a lousy night's sleep. The uncomfortable physical side effects include weariness, dryness, burning eyes, and headaches. When you are already sleep-deprived and foggy, motivating yourself to exercise might not be easy. Your dog can help here, of course. He will pressure you to get through this obstacle, get outside, and end the damaging cycle of inactivity and poor sleep. And you don't have to be in triathlon preparation to notice the effects. You can receive at least 30 minutes of light to moderate exercise to help you sleep longer and more soundly. Remember that exercising too soon before bed can make it harder to fall asleep. Even a little exercise can momentarily elevate your body temperature boost your blood pressure, and activate your neural system, making it harder to relax. You'll sleep like a baby if you only take walks during the day. 4. Lower chance of developing cardiovascular disease Regular exercise will keep your cardiovascular system healthy and your skeletal and muscular systems in top shape. Your heart, blood, veins, and arteries are part of your cardiovascular system. Serious health complications, such as high blood pressure, Heart failure and coronary heart disease can develop when your heart cannot circulate blood through your body effectively or runs into a blockage. Regular exercise reduces your risk of cardiovascular disease, blood pressure, and resting heart rate. According to the CDC, adults should engage in at least 150 minutes activity rate physical exercises each week. This is a little over 20 minutes of exercise for you each day. With your dog at your side, reaching this goal may be simple. For many dogs, 20 minutes of exercise per day is insufficient. To ensure your dog gets the appropriate amount of activity each day, you'll need to supplement with a longer walk, jog, or backyard session. Once more, the breed and age of your dog will determine this. Always deciding our veterinarian when determining how much exercise your dog needs each day. Due to overfeeding and insufficient exercise, more dogs than ever are experiencing health problems like obesity. One of the most acceptable methods to deal with this is to go for walks. Regular walks will maintain the health of your dog's heart and your own. 5. Tighten your waistline If you have the time, you can surely accommodate your dog's need to go for many daily walks. But if losing weight is one of your objectives, starting out with walking in the morning is a great option. Exercise in the morning has been linked to making healthier decisions throughout the day, like choosing fresh fruit and eggs for breakfast rather than pancakes and bacon. You'll stay more motivated to exercise if you do it with your dog than if you do it alone. They won't let you go on with your day until you start your daily stroll after you establish a habit.
and they become so thrilled about it. 6. Boost social skills for both parties. One study found that dog walkers are seen as more approachable, pleasant, and more likely to smile and say hello to people they pass on the street. Owning a dog can help you overcome awkward social boundaries and inspire you to socialize with people in your neighborhood or town. That is simply for people, too. A dog walk gives your dog the chance to interact with other people, things, and animals and develop appropriate social skills. Early on, regular walks help dogs learn appropriate social skills and etiquette. So there you have it. These are all the fascinating statistics and information regarding dog walking. Are any of these stats shocking to you? Post your ideas in the comments section below. Instead of a dog, did you take those walks? Thanks for watching our video. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.